I laid the boxy painkillers alongside the bottle of Smyrna vodka on the coffee table. It doesn't even matter to me that my flat is that cold it would give an Eskimo the shivers. All I can focus on is the troubling thoughts which are circling around my head like a vulture stalking a dying animal, just waiting for the right moment to pick through the bones. Each thought bringing another feeling of hopelessness and his good pal, despair. I mean, Guantanamo Bay's probably got a mere hamely feel to it than this dump. 30 years on this planet, and what do I have to show for it? Ah, TV, they daft his face ASI could trace back to John Logie Baird. A carpet that's got more stains on it than an actress auditioning for Harvey Weinstein. And look, even my walls are fucked. They're that yelly, I'm starting to think they've went jaundice. Probably because day after day, night after night, I sit here and try to smoke my cell into an early grave. I heard earlier on the morning news that the PM Boris Johnson has called a press conference for later in the evening. You just can that means somebody's going to suffer. As I go to light the joint I had pre-rolled in anticipation of my final act on this planet, I suddenly caught sight of a spider dangling for a long silvery thread in the corner of the room. This tiny creature was trying to swing onto the shelf with all its being, but still it couldn't muster the strength to make it. I'm sitting here thinking to myself, just gee up my wee pal, you'll never make it. Take it for somebody who has the t-shirt and the mental health issues to prove it. Ugh, will you look at the state of this cunt. Jesus, I look like a junkie after a weekend in Amsterdam. The white vest I'm wearing goes so well with my pale skin and skinny physique. For fuck's sake, it's die hard with AIDS. Honestly, I've got to laugh. I mean, how has it come to this, eh? There's been no Queensbury rules involved in my fight to survive, that's for fucking sure. Aye, the man upstairs has shot for the hips and done a right number on me. Yin minute. It's your sweet sixteen, the juices rushing to your balls, adrenaline pumping through your veins, and the world seems like a tidy hang just waiting for you to fuck her. God, I was fucking fearless back in the day. I had such dreams. Then, something happens. Something Nostradamus couldn't have seen coming. Your life flashes by you at internet speed. The next thing you can, you're staring down the double barrel of thirty years of pain and disappointment. You're still a pup, I can tell. You've still got the fire in your belly, that hunger to do something with your life. Get time, for it will soon come to you as well. The flies will become that bit quicker, the shelves that bit further away, and if you're lucky, some cunt like me will come along to stand on you, and it's all your very quick. At least that way, you're spared the heartache of finding out life's just yin big fucking joke on gadgets like us. <laughs>